we developed a whole body human machine interface, or HMI, for bilateral toy operation of humanoid robots. We use the HMI to demonstrate and evaluate our concept of wheeled humanoid robot locomotion tail operation by body tilt. The HMI consists of three subsystems, the linear sensor and actuator, or LISA, the force plate, and the motion capture linkage. LISA senses the human center of mass position and applies feedback forces to the human. It is a three degree freedom serial mechanism with high back drivability and bandwidth. In this work, Lisa provides a spring force feedback to prevent the human from falling during the tail operation. Lisa's end effector has a spherical joint, which connects to the human's vest and allows unconstrained torso movement. The force plate senses the human's ground reaction range and central pressure position. It utilizes six uniaxial tension compression load cells and functions as a stored platform sensor. Lisa and the force plate together generate a human inverted pendulum model. The motion capture linkage senses human limb configuration. We introduced it in our previous work on arm tail operation. We represent our envisioned wheel humanoid robot as a simulated linear inverted pendulum. And we designed two tail operation mappings for locomotion tail operation of the robot. The first mapping maps the human's tilt to the robot's velocity and grants more control authority to the robot. The second mapping maps the human's tilt to the robot's acceleration and grants more control authority to the human. Note that the two mappings reflect opposite design philosophies in shared control. We then conducted an experiment where seven human subjects teleoperate the robot to perform dynamic target tracking tasks. The experiment consists of position test and velocity test. In position test, the target remains still. The subject teleoperates the robot after three second countdown, such that the robot stay within the target for three seconds. In velocity test, the target travels at a constant velocity. The subject teleoperates the robot to catch the target and stay within it for three seconds. Every subject must complete the tests as fast as possible. They also repeat the experiment with both mappings as well as with and without the spring force feedback. The experimental results suggest that all subjects accomplished the tasks and the spring force feedback improved most subjects' performances. However, the subject exhibited two distinct tail operation styles and subjects with different styles benefited from the spring force feedback differently. Moreover, the spring force feedback affected the subject's preferences on the tail operation mappings, though most subjects performed better with the velocity mapping. <laughs> 